In our previous example of Young's modulus, we had a wire just like this. Matter of fact, it's the exact same drawing. Here's a 4 meter long wire made out of aluminum. It has a diameter of 1 millimeter, which makes it a radius of 0 0.0005 meters. And we were going to put a mass of 500 kilograms on that, and we calculated the change in the length. Although I did have a suspicion that the wire was probably not strong enough to withstand that. Because every material has what we would call a maximum stress. And for aluminum, the maximum stress is 2.2 times 10 to the 8 pascals, or newtons per square meter. So, let's see if the stress that this mass would put on this wire exceeds the maximum stress. If it does, the wire will break. So let's calculate the stress in this situation. So the stress is equal to the force divided by the cross-sectional area. So in this case, the force was the weight of this. That would be mg divided by the cross-sectional area. And of course, cross-sectional area would be equal to pi r squared. So mg divided by pi r squared will give us the stress caused by this mass. We have 500 kilograms times acceleration due to gravity. So that gives us the weight times, oh, not times, divided by pi times the radius squared, and the radius in meters, 0 0.0005 meters squared. And that will give us the stress caused by hanging a weight on that wire. Again, stress is a function of both the force and the cross-sectional area. A very small cross-sectional area will give us a really big stress just like a very large force will give us a really big stress. In this case, it's the cross-sectional area that determines that large stress on this wire. So 500 times 9.8 divided by pi and divided by 0 0.0005 squared equals, so this is equal to 6.2 times 10 to the 9th, and of course stress is force per unit area, which is newtons per square meter. So that's how much stress that mass hanging from that wire would, would exhibit itself on the wire. Now, what is the max of stress a lumen can handle? 2.2 times 10 to the 8. Well, 6.2 is almost 30 times as much, so no question that wire will break long before you have the full weight of this mass pulling down on the wire. The wire cannot withstand that strength. So another question may be, knowing what the maximum stress is, what is the largest mass that we can put here before it will break? So the second part of the question may be, what is the mass max we can put on this wire? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to change it like this. We're going to say stress mass, stress max is equal to F max divided by the cross-sectional area. And F max, of course, will be M times G, which that means that the mass will be limited. So we can say that stress mass, max, stress max, is equal to M max times G divided by the cross-sectional area, which is pi r squared. And so what we're looking for here is we're looking for the maximum mass. So let's rearrange the equation. So we have M max is equal to, on the other side of the equation, the stress max. Notice that the pi will come up here and go to the numerator on the other side of the equation. The r squared will go to the other side, the numerator on the other side. And then the g will go to the denominator on the other side, like so. And that will give us the maximum mass, or the biggest object that we can hang from that wire before the wire will break. All right, we have the maximum stress, which is 2.2 times 10 to the 8 pascals, which is newtons per square meter. That's a large amount of force per square meter you can apply to aluminum before it breaks. Multiply times pi, multiply times the radius, 0 0.0005 meters squared, and then divide the whole thing by g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, so how big an object can we hang from that wire? 2.2 uh, e to the 8 times pi times 0 0.0005 squared divided by 9.8 equals, and it says... 17.6 kilograms, uh, which is slightly less than 40 pounds. So, you have a wire made out of aluminum with a diameter of one millimeter, which is not very big. Do not hang more than about 40 pounds or about 17.6 pounds on it, or the wire will break.